In this video, we're playing Hunter Call of the Wild, and I'm going to be building the most expensive loadout possible. Now, to start off the day, we are right out here in Parque Fernando, but let's get in here and see exactly what we can buy. Let's just start off with rifles. Most expensive so far? Oh, dang, the 300 Magnum, $75,000. Jeez, dude. Then we have the Coachmate, 4800, but right now it's still that one. There we have the Enfield, looks like it's 40000 That one's another 40000 This one's 90000 and I think this one's probably going to win, so is there anything more than ninety thousand dollars not even close so yeah we're definitely taking the zenith which is perfect because there's water buffalo on this map as for handguns what's the most expensive handgun here we're starting off twenty four thousand. that's a pretty good amount for a handgun these are all free because they're dlc i'm not really going to count those this one's forty eight thousand, but i don't actually have it unlocked yet so i mean at this point i guess it kind of is just this 44 magnum wildcat i've never used 44 magnum let's buy it and let's find out if it's any good and then for shoddies oh gosh that one's already forty eight thousand. guys i don't know if you know this but look at these prices for some shotguns those fancy shotguns can go for really expensive in real life Th this one's forty-five thousand, which isn't bad at, i mean well that is a bad that is pretty bad but it's not terrible looking at this i mean it looks like it's either gonna be this pump or this one right here for forty-five thousand. and i already own this one so that's not terrible this one holds six Oh my goodness, I didn't know that. This shotgun's also a pump, but it holds six. I did not know that. And I'm able to put a red dot. Oh my gosh, and the shotgun scope. Oh gosh, man. Oh, dang it. No, there's no dang it. I mean, I'm sorry. For some reason, I came into this challenge not expecting to spend money because I'm dumb. This is the most expensive loadout, Kendall. You're going to spend money. Looks like we're buying a new shotgun. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Man, dude, and I just blew 50,000 just like that. As for bows, all the bows are pretty cheap. Oh, as soon as I say they're cheap. It's at this point we have to make a decision, guys. We have a rifle, we have a pistol, we have a shotgun. Do we really need to drop 50K on another bow? I only have $80,000. By the time I buy the scopes and stuff, I might not even have enough money. I'm gonna make an executive decision. We are not buying the bow because I literally can't afford it. Let's come into storage and load up our stuff. So we're starting off with the Zenith, which is an absolute hammer and weighs 11 pounds. Jeez. Then we got the 44 Magnum and this new pump action shoddy. Let's buy the ammo. I forgot. I don't have ammo. This is going to be expensive. 470 Nitro Express. The most expensive bullets. $2,600 for 10. I'm going broke. That's $260 a bullet. Handgun ammo. 44 Magnum. I can't even buy the expensive kind because I'm not good enough. That's crazy. 260 bucks for 10. That's not that bad. Shotgun ammo. Ooh. We can do slugs. I almost forgot about that. Nope, apparently I can't do slugs because my shotgun score is not good enough. Looks like we're going to bird shot. $180 for 10 shots. Not that bad, but we're probably going to be throwing about 100 of them. So let's go ahead and buy a few. Rifle sights. This one would be the most expensive at $36,000, but I don't even have a gun this can actually go on. We're going to have to pass. Instead, we're going to equip the red dot because that's uh, kind of the only thing we can use. 470 Nitro Express, 44 Magnum, and 12 gauge bird shot then we're loading up that red dot that red dot this duck collar and these duck decoys and then of course we can't forget these super expensive binoculars this better not go wrong because we don't have much money to spare and with all that stuff coming together at a price of two hundred and fifteen thousand dollars for the most expensive loadout you can get to go kill pretty much whatever you want and here we are on park a fernando we're gonna shoot literally whatever we see we got the 470 with the red dot on top so we shouldn't have any problem at all here the 44 mag is a six shooter and i even put the red dot up on top of it i don't actually know if i'm gonna like that but i can always take it off and then i have this shotgun right here which is gonna be pretty sweet for ducks and stuff this is gonna be pretty sweet and it holds six which is crazy and plus whenever i unlock the slugs this is gonna be a pretty dang sweet slug gun let's go kill some <laughs> I say we start off early. Let's just get some ducks. We already saw ducks up in the air. I looked around. I didn't see any buffalo. So first thing, let's just pull out these decoys. We're going to throw them anywhere and everywhere. I don't know anything about ducks, but I think that you just put decoys out and hope for the best. I really don't know if it matters in this game. Does your spread actually matter? Or can you just put 15 ducks in a row and it be good enough? You know what I mean? Because I ain't swimming out there too deep. Because the further you put them out there, further you got to swim to go get them, you know? See, we done got teal coming in. I ain't even done nothing. I say let's get down here in the grass. Oh, dude, look, 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 there's already ducks. Blow that whistle, buddy. Blow that whistle. <laughs>
Oh, it's game time. It's game time. It's game time. Get out the six shooter, dude. Oh my gosh, they're all over me. This is the easiest duck hunting in the game, dude. No cap. So easy. Done for. All right, well, that was one. That's pretty dang good. Now, look, I still have three shells left. This shotgun might be the best, and I didn't even know it existed. Didn't even know it existed until I looked at it. Look, just blow that call again, they'd be right back here. <laughs> oh, we got birds. We got birds. I'm going to have to get quicker with a shotgun. Blow them out of the sky, brother. Down! He's coming down! Too easy, man. Too easy. Blow that call again. We're wiping them out, dude. <laughs> Get at your shoddy, mate. We got them coming in for everywhere. Let me get them right here. Dude, what? That's it. I'm out of here, dude. Check them out. There's a gold. Pretty cool. And what's this? And a boy? This is something else. Female, apparently. Is that why they call them cinnamon teal? Because they're cinnamon and teal? <laughs> Can't believe it. Oh, we got one coming in over here. We got a couple coming in. Another one buys the dust. No way I'd miss those. No way, dude. No, he's going down. He's going down. Oh, dude. Here, let me hit that again. <laughs> dude, I'm having I'm having too much fun. <laughs> it's too easy out here, dude. Now, granted, I'm probably losing money, but... How do I get my gun? There it is, there it is, there it is. So I might need to supposed to be aiming on the duck. Oh, buddy. There we go. Knocked him out. Knocked him out. No! Dude. This is too good. All right, that's it, dude. I'm going ahead, packing up. Let's go get those other ducks, and we're looking for some more. Not more ducks. We're looking for more animals. I believe we probably killed enough ducks. You reckon? One fell from the sky right Cheer. Pretty solid. I don't know if it's a boy or girl. Oh, it's a piebald. What's piebald mean? I totally forgot. Well, too late now. <laughs> it's gone. That stinks. What's this? This is a cinnamon. It's a really good looking duck, but like, I don't know anything about ducks. It don't, I mean, it looks special, but I doubt it is. Oh well. Update, we left Stink Brazil to pursue actual happiness. We are somewhere where animals actually exist. Spain, I'm not actually too great at this map, but at least it's open fields and I can see a little bit of ways. Oh. There we got some roe deer. Honestly, I think that's a perfect little target for uh, the pistol. So let's just go do that. I like these open fields, man. I can stick and throw them the my nose and see them from a thousand yards away. Oh, there we got pigs and rabbits. Hot dog. This is a hot map. I like this. I'd like. I'd rather go after them pigs, but I'll literally take whatever target hits me first. Like there's there's wildlife all over this map, and the important thing is that you can actually see them. You can't shoot what you can't see. That's why I like these maps. Now I've actually never used this pistol, so I really don't know what my confidence range is going to be. It says it zeroes out to 82 yards, but man, those pigs are out there. I think I'm going to need something a little bit more if I'm going to get it done like that. That deer right there is 155, but man. I want to I wanna punch a pig, and the pigs are out there. The pigs look like they're probably going to be crossing the road. Yeah, I'm just going to have to throw one at it. Boys, I can't tell you if I hit that or not. Well, shoot it again then, KG. If you miss once, shoot again, you know? It's kind of like the motto here. Shoot, a, shoot once, shoot a lot. Reload real quick, just in case something crazy happens. Now, I ain't too impressed with it, but once again, it's a pistol, and it's pretty much just the red dot that's not the hot thing, okay? I know I at least hit it once, but I don't know if that actually means it's dying, because a hog is pretty big, and this is just kind of a 44 Magnum at over 100 yards. It's kind of a Hail Mary. We'll see about these blood stains though. Small blood stain, that ain't gonna kill him. Here's another blood, but I don't know if it's new blood. I think it is. Here's more blood, but I don't know if that's new blood. He's 50 to 75, he's probably probably going down 25 to 50 he's going down but not too fast not as fast as we'd like we'll just say that oh here's rabbits here's rabbits get that shotgun ready I don't know if it hit a rabbit or not. I mean, I feel like I gave it a good shot. I feel like I should at least got one rabbit there There was a couple clumped together, but now I'll be honest. Oh, here comes something here comes something pheasant I didn't hit him the first time I did the second time. I know that. Dude, shotgun? Is this thing OP? Oh my goodness. And I did kill a rabbit. Let's think and go. Where did I hit that thing? This is a hair. Whatever. I don't care. One pellet in the back. Good enough, dude. Good enough. Then right here is that pheasant. Now he was hitting the ground, so I probably didn't get He was grounded, or so they say. The first shot got a brain shot. Second shot, I just went ahead and finished him. Pretty fair enough in my book. 
Now, Jamal, help us find that pig. This shotgun might actually be pretty solid. Like, you can just keep different shells with you, throw the scope on it, and then all of a sudden you're working with a slug gun? Maybe something I look into right here. According to Jamal, we lost the track, so whatever. We'll just find the new pig, I guess. There's another rabbit. Oh, there's a roe deer. Oh, he's nervous, though. Let's just get down and crawl, and we're gonna go after that roe deer. He seems to be a pretty good one. Roe deer right here snuck up on me. I gotta blast it pretty quick. Oh, gosh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Blast it, blast it, blast it, blast it. Oh, that is not an amazing shot, but I think that should be able to put it down. Oh, uh, what? That was it. No, that was it not going down. Are these bullets that bad? They can't be that bad, right? I think the biggest downfall we have for this most expensive is that the scope just didn't fit anything because that scope is really important. All right, dude. Looks like we're heading out of here. We're heading somewhere else. We're actually going to Africa. While we're switching maps, if y'all are interested in any merch, go to kindlegrade1.com slash shop, first link in the description, and use promo code GAMING10, all caps, get you 10% off whatever you want. And I'm actually going to be changing out the loadout a little bit, too. Instead of the big gun, um, I'm actually going to be getting rid of it because I think the 300 canning magnum, after you put the good scope on it, is probably actually worth more. And it's a lot more capable because you can actually shoot. So let's get rid of this, get some of this, throw on that and now we can actually kill some shoo buddy with this weapon if we see it it's dying there is nothing in the game that can get away from this gun and this setup right here and speaking of uh big animals here we got some a big cinnamon cape buffalo one of the biggest animals in the game we're gonna shoot it with the 300 magnum but we're gonna shoot it at such a distance that it's not gonna be a problem for us if we get lucky we might get right over this cliff we might even be able to take a few of them before they can even get away all we gotta do is put one good shot in the vitals and as many as we can shoot is going to die like this right here on this cliff they ain't gonna be able to get too many to kill me this is the ultimate sniping in hunter call of the wild here we go they think they're giving a warning call but what they don't know is it doesn't matter they're already a little bit too close. All right, find them in the scope again. All right, find them in the scope again. Dang, dude, they ain't going down, are they? Dude, they ain't going down. I may stand corrected right here. Okay. They're not going down. I stand corrected. I shot both. I shot two of them in the vitals and they're not going down. I don't even know what to say. Over there's some kudu. Well, Lord, brother, that's a big one over there, ain't it? All right, let's see if we can stretch out. This is a stretch. Just need them to stop. Keep up with the red one. Let's just watch the red one and see if it's health. See, it's health is going down. Are you kidding me? Across the stinking country, one good shot and that thing's going down. Big red out there. There, I just put another one on. And we'll go over there and we'll check it out. And it's also going down. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. I mean, I, it's one thing to be able to hit animals that far. It's another thing to have enough energy to actually take them down. That's what this gun can do. That's a that's a long way out there, but buddy, it's a poke. Let's poke it. Small animal too, for this gun at least. If I hit it though, it's dead. Buddy, I hit it. Look at the way it's running. And there it goes into the abyss. What about that? All right, well, I don't really know what to say right now. See if we can get another big buffalo. Oh, nope. Fell out of range. Dang it. Let's check out this valley, see if there's anything else. Pretty much, if we can hit it, it's going to die. I doubt there's anything else here. Let's go over there and look for those buffalo, and you never know, we might run up on something else. I just have a weird feeling. I'm going to pull out the pistol just in case. All right, Jamal, look for blood. I don't think they really went that far. Oh, gosh. There's a warning call right over here. I guess let's just chase this. That might get us pretty close. There's a good blood right there. Yep, there's a body right there. We just got to watch our backs, though. See, here they come, here they come, here they come, here they come, you know? I don't know if it's coming after me. Or if maybe that one is. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Reload, 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 reload. Oh gosh, I gotta watch my back now. I got two after me. Gosh, get out of the way, no! Ow, ow, ow. Gosh, dude, you're so slow. You gotta do better than that. Look at it just keep running through the screen. Dude, what is this? How did I die? You know what time it is. I'm just kidding. You probably don't, because I don't either. But I think that it's time that we go to the store and buy some 12 gauge slugs and let's go show those whatever the buffalo who's boss. Let's load up and we're going to redeem ourselves. Get out of the way, Jamal. We ain't stopping for nobody. Not even a cliff. I feel like Braden Price right here. This is a little crazy. 
Ooh. He minus 200 yards, kinda. All right, this is where I died last time. So let's stop right here. Get out that shotgun, just get ready, just in case they're still here. Now, I don't know if they're still here, but they might be. We'll go ahead and collect this. Look, dude, a perfect lung shot, and it went down in no time. And over there's that other one. Once again, lung shot, giant lungs, easy shot. Dead almost instantly. Now, let's go see what these slugs can do. Boys, 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 we got a stinging jackal. It's not what we're looking for. It ain't a big moo cow. Dude, I don't even know what I'm talking about. All I'm saying is that we're chasing down a dog with a four-wheeler, and hopefully, if we're lucky, we're going to try to kill him. Oh, we got to get him before he gets out in the open, though. Oh, dang it. He's getting into this thick stuff. Oh, we're right on his tail, though. There ain't no doubt about that. Oh, no, 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 no. He switched on me. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Dude, this fox is too smart. I don't think I can road kill him in this game. There he is. There he is. There he is. He's right here. He's right here. We got to get him out in the open, dude. I'm right. I'm literally... Come on. This is a chance. This is a chance. I just lost it. I just lost it. Well, I guess one thing, good thing about it, he did lead me to the buffalo. And we're in hot pursuit. Makes me mad you can't roadkill in this game. Come on, get your shotgun up. That's all I got, dude. If, if six subs can't take him down, I don't know if I need to. Like, did it do damage at all? He's still at 75, 100% health. I shot him six times with slugs didn't miss and he's still going there he is finally he went down literally just like i said six shots but it doesn't look like any of them penetrated at all like that was gonna hit the lungs but it just didn't penetrate so yeah it's, slugs aren't they're just they just ain't it chief click right over here if you want to see how many 22s it takes to kill a buffalo or right over here for a cheap versus expensive challenge